Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. And I want to do a quick hitter edition talking about a buzzy topic in Brooklyn these last couple months. Where in the world is Tommy TK Reynolds? When is he coming home? When is he getting out? Uh, what's the deal? Because two months ago, we heard a lot of reporting from several very popular um, prominent mob tubers that Tommy Reynolds was getting out in a matter of days. Um, And it's two months later and he's still not out. And uh, you look at the BOP website and it says he's not coming out until August of 2026. We were all told to kind of ignore that, that it was a clerical error or, and there's a lot to unpack and I'm going to try to do it in a quick uh, three, four minutes here. So as everybody probably knows, it's watching this, but if they don't, we'll fill you in. Tommy TK Reynolds was a part of the Bath Avenue boys, Bath Avenue crew, which was a JV farm club, you know, JV mob farm club um, for the Bananos out of Brooklyn on, on uh, in, in the Bath Beach section of Brooklyn. They worked directly for the Bonanno uh, conciliary and, and one time acting boss, Anthony Spiro. And these were like his his young, uh, you know, Aaron boys turned rough and tumble racketeers turned hitmen. Um, started off as young, young boys, kind of, you know, shining shoes and, and parking cars and getting laundry to collections and booking and and loan sharking and stealing, drug dealing, what have you, and then became hitmen. And uh, I started doing hits for the, for the Bananos with the, with the expectation that the ones that were Italian were to get their button. TK Reynolds is half Italian, half Irish. His dad and his uncle were a part of the Genovese uh, crime family organization. They, they ran with the Provenzano crew in New Jersey the union uh, racketeering group under Tony Pro, the guys that were suspects in in the Hoffa and the Hoffa, uh, Jimmy Hoffa assassination and kidnapping disappearance. Um, So Tommy Reynolds uh, got pled guilty um, racketeering case that had some predicate acts um, of homicide and had gotten a life sentence, got that life sentence uh, overturned not the case, but the sentence. And it went from a life sentence to, I think, 40, between 40 and 45 years. And then through a series of sentence reductions and I'm told compassionate releases, but I I don't think that's true. So out of, out of a, uh, in a series of sentence reductions, he went from life to 45 to 35 to 30. Now we're down to 28 years. Um, which with good time can get you out in 25, 26. And his date went down to August of 2000, his outdate went down to August of 2026 this summer. And yeah, if your outdate is is two years away, you can still get into a halfway house pretty, I don't wanna say easily, but you know, if, if you're a, a year from your outdate, you're going in a halfway house really soon. Um, if you're two years out, certain circumstances could put you into a halfway house. So we're told that Tommy has some family health issues that, that, uh, need his attending to. And that was one of the reasons that according to the court paperwork, you can see this, uh, on the, on this paperwork, which is why some of the people reported this back in September, um, that the judge says that he wants Tommy out immediately into a halfway house. I've learned through covering a lot of criminal cases through the years that just because a judge wants, I mean, it sounds like, well, the judge should be the final say, right? But just because what it, just because a judge wants something doesn't mean that's going to happen. So, I, you know, our sources here have said that there's been a lot of people that have been people, victims, families ex-law enforcement, current law enforcement that don't like the fact that Tommy Reynolds is getting out early um, have called and complained, and that has held things up. The fact that there were a lot of people doing victory laps, um, you know, patting themselves on the back, 
that that Tommy Reynolds was coming out. I don't know how that played. Uh, and that's not to say that they didn't have a, a right to believe what they believe because the court record says the judge wants him out and wants him out now. Um, and I know that his family and the people that uh, speak for him have been under the assumption that he's coming out any day now. That was told to everybody in September. Again, it, we, we're into December now and he's not out. He didn't come home for for Thanksgiving, I guess it's possible he could be here for he could be there for Christmas. We know when it comes to compassionate releases, at least things happen fast. Ronnie one arm Truccio, you know, in a matter of a week, he was home. Um, so we'll we'll keep our eyes on this. But I just wanted to you know tell everyone after doing some due diligence on, on our end and 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 digging, um, I think that the perception was that this was happening really fast. And that upset people and that blowback has according to our reporting has caused a delay and uh i don't think it was intentional i don't think the people that came out in september and were talking about him coming out one one outlet said he was out um but it definitely raised red flags for people that didn't want to see him out and if it had been done kind of quieter and like the victory lap was done after Tommy got out into the halfway house, it'd be different. But there was a um, there was like a a narrative that had developed very quickly that this was a done deal and that he's coming home like now. And it frankly it hurt him. So we hope that he gets out uh, as soon as possible. We hope that he can um, be back. Uh, helping his family out however he however he can anybody that has a chance to get out we, we'd like to see get out uh i can't speak for the victims families i can't speak for the law enforcement that that know him and and uh i guess aren't big fans of him getting out we know that he murdered his, or it was part of a conspiracy where he murdered his childhood best friend the leader of that bath avenue crew paul Brascalino, who had made the faith faithful mistake of pushing Anthony Spiro in public when he, in a verbal spat, they got into a, a fight over the fact that uh, Galeno felt like Spiro should be supporting him in a beef with another JV mob. And instead, Spiro was telling Galeno to, to pull it back. And then, you know, he murdered a, a an innocent woman in a home invasion uh, a couple months before that, 93. And we're told that that was tied to the Russian mob. So kind of precarious. But either way, TK Reynolds will be coming out early. I mean, he was supposed to, ne he, he, was, he wasn't ever supposed to get out. So he'll be, he'll be home, you know, latest will be 2026. But, uh, you know, with, with the way things happen, he could be out by Christmas, could be out by 25. But uh, we just wanted to update everybody that Tommy Reynolds is not home yet and uh, still in Otisville, which is a federal prison about 90 miles out of Brooklyn um, in New York. And, you know, still waiting for the, uh, his papers to get into a, a halfway house. Please like, share, subscribe, OG pod, um, start, you know, spread the word. We're here every day, breaking news, uncovering the underworld, one city, one region, one country at a time. I'm Scott Bernstein. Happy holidays, OG Pod, we're out.